everybody welcome to market news and with what an my name is princess rasta and today we are going to discuss about this ipo that is suraj estate developers limited and whether we are going to apply for this ipo or not so stay tuned till the end so let's get started So first, we'll be discussing about the company, then its uh, financial performance, and lastly, uh, we will be uh, discussing with you the stats, and in the end, we'll be concluding it. So first things first, uh, talking about the history of this company. So this company was incorporated in uh, 1986, and uh, the company develops residential and commercial real estate in South Central Mumbai region. The company does not provide any in-house construction services and is 100% dependent on third-party contractors. It has almost completed around 42 projects in South Central Mumbai region. And in addition to the completed projects, they have 13 ongoing projects and 16 upcoming projects. Now, uh, looking at its financial positions, we can clearly see that there is an uptrend in the asset part of this company, which does indicate growth that potentially improves of operational efficiency. Now, looking at the revenue, the revenue has increased quite a bit, uh, which does indicate good sales. Looking at the profit after tax, we can see that it has almost increased by five times as compared to uh, 31st March 2021 to 31st March 2023. Looking at the net worth of this company, it has almost uh, doubled uh, since March 2022 to March 2023. The reserves and surplus has increased, suggesting a healthy financial uh, reserves for the company. And uh, looking at the total borrowing, so the company's total borrowing has fluctuated and the latest figure indicates uh, current debt level. So in, in order to summarize, we can clearly see. And looking at the total borrowings, we can clearly see that in March, uh, 31st of March 2023, it has decreased. So yeah, uh, so this company's financial shows positive signs with increasing assets, revenue, and profitability. Uh, also, there is a growth in net worth and reserves and surplus, and it is very important to monitor its total borrowings, which uh, we can clearly see that it has been decreased. However, in the last quarter, they have again increased its slight of it. Now, uh, this IPO was started on 18th of December and closed date is today, that is 20th of uh, December. And the issue price is between 340 to 360 rupees per share. Now, going to the start parts, this IPO uh, retail subscription is around eight times. So, yeah. Uh, so, since Jan 2021, there were around 162 IPOs, out of which we would have applied for 76 IPOs based on the retail subscription out of which we would have been allotted with 24 IPOs uh, and there would have been 18 winners for us, that is listing day wins for us, which is a 75% of winning rate. Now, in a hypothetical scenario, if you would have started with the 2 lakh rupees of capital, then you would have earned a total profits of 93,690. Maximum gains was, uh, was 16,305, which was through. GR intra projects. Now, and max loss was 2,982, which was through rate gain technologies. Which was for rate gain technologies, where we lost around 2,982 points. Now, whether we are going to apply for this IPO or not, the answer is yes, definitely yes, we are going to apply for this IPO. However, the chances are quite brief uh, that we will be getting allotted, uh, getting any allotment or no. Uh, so that's it in the market news from my side. I hope uh, this video brings value to you. And if it does, then hit the like button. I will see you in the next video. Bye.